Crack burgers are all the rage right now, and I've seen it on TikTok, I've seen it on all my social media, and I don't even know what they are. So we had to do some research. Meat Church put out a video. Hungry Hussy put out a big video. Big shout out to those guys. I love them. I got to try my own version of these crack burgers, and we're going to put them together today. And I'll, I'll put the recipe up in the video, but you're going to go ahead and do a couple things. One, 80-20 meat. So we're going to put that right in the bowl. In the bowl! Then we're going to go ahead and put our bacon. So got crumbled cooked bacon here and right in with the bacon and the meat. Right up there. Good. Then I am going to use sour cream. Got two tables, three tablespoons. That's, that's about right, right? I got, big, I got big spoons here at the house. Then good S seasoning. Now that is going to be, we're a family channel. We don't fully salt the word. So good S seasoning. And we're going to put a good helping of good S seasoning on top of that. I love good S seasoning. Then we're going to go take, it says one cup of cheddar cheese I found online. I'm just going to do one handful and put that in the bowl as well. Then we're going to, the secret sauce is the ranch dip mix right here. So this will go right on top if I can get it open. There we go. Put that right there. We're not done yet. I've seen a lot of these crack burgers and the crack burgers kind of fall apart when you cook them. I want to go ahead and put a little bit of a binder in. So we're going to go put breadcrumbs or crushed crackers in with our mix because I don't like my burger to fall apart. I like my burger to stay together. So we're going to go ahead and mix this all up and form our burgers. So let's get that in there. I know before I hear it in the comments, oh my gosh, she's not wearing gloves. Yeah, just go to a different channel. I wash my hands, guys. Let's get it together. But yeah, I'm going to mix this all up. Get it good and clean in there. It's going to take a second. And then we're going to form our burgers here. And we're not cooking a smash burger or anything like that today. We are doing crack burgers. And I am excited to try this. One... We put two pounds of meat in this thing. Yeah, we got a lot of meat going on in here. And we're going to cook this up on the new Monument Grill um, that I just reviewed. And the thing is phenomenal. It's like the Cadillac of propane grills. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll put that up in the right corner. You can click on that and check out my review if you're looking for a new propane grill for the 2024 season. All right, let's form these into nice big balls. And be careful, don't overpressure your meat. Just put your meat together and smash it down into your crack burger. Lay it out there. We're going to cook eh, four or five of them out of this two pounds of meat. I like a little bit of a bigger burger. That's a little bit too big. You know, some people like smaller meat. I like bigger meat. So just form them up. Don't get them too pressured. You want to lightly cook in there. There we go. Man, these smell really good. Yeah, it's uh, kind of an interesting smell when you mix the ranch in with the meat. But yeah, just pound them together, get them all ready to go, to go on your new grill. Patties are made. We got two, four, six, seven crack burgers to put on our grill. And let's get these things cooking. All right, let's put them on the Monument Grill. I got the left side all warmed up here. We can see if you want to pan over here, Miss Austin, right down here. Got all these light up. These are orange. I'm colorblind. I know they're orange, but we got them orange. They're all preheated. We got our display at 325. We're going to put our burgers on here. Oh, yeah. That sizzle noise. I don't care who you are. It makes you smile every time you hear it. So good. Now we're going to cook these about five to seven minutes per side. They are a little thicker. Don't play with them. Just let them be. We're going to put them on this grill. There we go. Five to seven minutes on this side. We'll flip five to seven minutes, cheese them, and we'll call them good. All right, let's put the cheese on these bad boys. They look about done, but we got to get them a little cheesy. And they're little char marks. You know what? People can complain, but we put cheese on them and it goes away. All right, let's get these off. Oh my gosh, they look good. Yummy, yummy. Look at this bad boy. Mmm. Cheesy crack burger. I cannot wait to get this in my mouth. I'm so curious on how this tastes. So good. We're going to get these all formed up, pick a couple bites of them, and we'll let you know if it's worth making these. I can tell you right now, it's worth it. Crack burgers are done. Now 
We gotta try this thing. All right, big juicy crack burger going in. Mmm. This is really good. Top five burgers all time, crack burger. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you want more recipes like this, hit that subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. But I'll catch you in the next cook.